Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage and Fearless Insurance. Good morning. I have my rubber band here. I don't have to hunt for it. Today is Tuesday. Nope. Nope. Today is Wednesday. October the 11th, 2023, year of our Lord. I hope you're doing okay. Wednesday means trash day around my house. In my life, the 365 Project. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to take us back to 1966. So, Back in 1966, my brother and I were 9 and 10 years old. We rode our bicycles everywhere, and uh, we loved to go Coke bottle hunting. Remember that? So there was some apartments they were building over on Finley in between uh, Harvard and Story Road. I think they were called the Finley House Apartments back then. So when they were building them, my brother and I, about once a week, usually on like Saturday morning, would get on our bicycles and we'd each grab a tow sack. And we'd walk along the uh, construction out there because on Saturdays the, the guys were off. And we'd, we'd pick up Coke bottles and we'd put them in a tow sack and, uh, and then you could cash them in. So I remember, the earliest I remember they were two cents. And then I remember they went up to three cents. And then I remember they went up to a nickel and that was like huge, they were a nickel a piece. So I don't really remember our buddies Coke bottle hunting with us. It was just something that me and Rand did, me and my brother did. And the money that you got from Coke bottle hunting, you immediately spent it on candy and Cokes. You know, they had what you called uh, ices back then. So you'd get an icy, you'd get a Chico stick, you'd get a big hunk, you'd get milk duds, you'd get a zero bar. You know, you, you just load yourself up with, uh, with candy. But it was so cool to get the bottles, put them in the tow sack, lug them up to the store, and get that cash in your hand. You know, and it was a buck, two bucks, 75 cents. You know, but it, that was a big deal. That was uh, probably the first way we ever made money. And then, you know, we graduated to mowing lawns and uh, throwing the, the Dallas Times Herald, that kind of stuff. I was telling my buddy from Chicago, the Goose, about that years ago. We were all at lunch talking about that. And he said, at the end of the story, he said, what's a tow sack? I said, well, y'all ain't, ain't got tow sacks up north? He had, he's my age, he had no clue what a tow sack is. Check the chuck, check that chuck, you big old, woo, hey, look here, boy. Some more plaid, I love the, hey, that's got a hole in it, son of a gun. Well, I wear these plaids, it's got crack. I might have to buy some new plaid shoes, black and red plaid, black nose, white soles, two vent holes. See, these are closer together than the ones yesterday. Solid black medallion, one eye down, double knotted for safety, red shoestrings. Ooh, got a Maypop. Look at that, that's a Maypop right there. I've got to change those shoestrings. Remind me later in the comments to change the shoestrings. I don't want to be out there uh, out there uh, mingling with customers 
and then have a blowout with that Maypop slang word shindig speaking of shindigs we're gonna have a big shindig this weekend the weather's supposed to be in the mid 70s what you talking about that's gonna be a good one there that's gonna be a good one dad joke it's what I told my wife last night she wants me to change the uh, the water filter in the icebox I said honey if a man says he'll do something, he'll do it. There's no sense in reminding us every six months or so. We'll do it. Motivational minute. When the door of happiness closes, there's always going to be another door of happiness that opens. But sometimes you focus too much on that closed door that you don't see the other door that is open. So what does that mean, Mr. Fairless? That means if something don't go your way, all right, okay, get over it. Don't dwell on it. Get past that and let's move on. Yeah, you didn't get that raise at work. Yeah, you didn't get that promotion. Yeah, you, your, your girlfriend stood you up. Whatever it is, get past it and move on. We've all got regrets. Get over it, buddy. Get over it. Okay? I say, oh, it's today's Wednesday, which means karaoke. A long time forgotten and dreams that have failed by the way. The good life he's promised ain't what she's living today. I will not be singing that song in karaoke. A singer I am not. I like to sing not very good at it. That's part of the entertainment of karaoke is watching your friends or watching other people get up there and sing songs. We all sing. I've seen karaoke before. I've seen karaoke with my wife in a dive bar on Bourbon Street 20 years ago. You know what I sang? Turn the page. You walk into a restaurant, strung out from the road. You feel the eyes. You know, I sang that. But it was okay. I was drunk. It, uh, it didn't bother me. One guy came up and said, man, you're a pretty good singer. He was drunker than me. So, uh, Stroker's Dallas merch. This is the Who's Your Daddy shirt. Stroker'sDallasMerch.com Yesterday, my wife and I went, and we were eating lunch at Five Guys. We hadn't been to Five Guys in a couple of years. Uh, we decided to try it for lunch. So we ordered. We were sitting there, and uh, a guy was getting a Coke out of the machine, and he turned around and he said, Rick, I just want to tell you I look forward to your In My Life series every morning. And I looked at him and he said, I love the show. And I said, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, people tell me that, that come in here or, or online, but it was pretty cool to see somebody that I didn't know, a stranger, out in the wild. Five guys is wild. Okay. In the wild, saying that they loved my show. Made my day. All right, Rick Fearless Fairless. I got to go. I got a big shindig to get ready for. Love you, bye.